Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today we are joined by Bragg. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. We are in a strange location. Yes, we are in effectively a, a storage cupboard uh, in the Good Game store. Um, just in preparation for the day. Uh, just made it a little bit easier for us. Um, we're not going to be doing our usual though. Uh, today we are going to be going over the best of 2022 uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! edition. Um, this is basically your picks for best card, best product, best deck, um, as voted by uh, us at our yep. locals and you on our Discord. Yes. Um, I may as well plug it early. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Please jump in, say hi. Uh, it's too late for you to vote, but feel free to um, broadcast your opinions on um, these as we go, well not as we go through them, but yeah, let us know what you think of them. Yes, um, this will be quite controversial. Yeah, there will be some picks um, that I certainly know I don't agree with. I, I would, I would, like, I like to thank everyone who did vote very much so, but there's a few votes in there that I had to either not curate, but I didn't rig this. This, like, this is straight up how it ended up, and that's why there's a couple cards in here that my god, why did you all vote for this? Because it's a few joke votes, and it's all it takes is one person to go, oh, my first place. And as soon as there's a third place joke, it's done, like. Look, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Look, think this is democracy! Manifest. It is. I honestly can't remember how last year's one played out. I really should have gone back and checked it. I remember it being, like, oh, weird, but... Yeah, there were yeah. some in last year's that definitely didn't deserve to be there. There's a lot of, um, and this time, the late in year bias will probably play again. Yeah. But I also think there's a reason why the late in year bias... This year's late in year bias is a lot <laughs> is, better than the last year's yeah. late in year bias. I tried specifically to think of other stuff through the year and even then it just didn't seem as no, prevalent it's, it's as not. other years what was last year's deck of the year tribe again uh sword soul sword soul okay yeah and ended up being sword soul i think you voted i think you thought it was tribe brigade and you're yeah. like it, okay. yeah tribe brigade was like good all year and then sword soul showed up at the very end did all right and everyone voted for it. in retrospect i think sword soul was the best deck and we'll get to that later well, no, we might. Oh, wait, we might. Uh, <laughs> okay, so starting us off, we start with our top five cards of 2022. <laughs> There's a few of them. <laughs> There's a few uh, of the top five. So we're going to go from five to four. Uh, so in Five to four. Uh, five to one. I thought, I thought there was like going to be five between five and four. Uh, there is. <laughs> there is. Uh, so okay. in equal fifth, we have... Uh, Ocean Dragon Lord uh, Kiryushin? Kiryushin? Kiryushin. Um, yeah, look. It's okay. Kiryushin. Yeah, there we go. It's an okay card. It's worth a bit of money. Outside yeah, of that. <laughs> the, the issue with it being worth a lot of money is because is it's a pack that nobody bought. Mm. Yeah. Unless you're chasing specifically this or Marincess stuff, you had no reason. Oh, Droplets was in there as well. But yeah, there's outside probably, of that. There's probably there's, like packs of it in here. There's no packs of it in here. There's Megatins. That's some Megatons over there. Oh, I wonder if that will feature. Let's find out. Well, it won't be for oh, a while. Okay. Anyway, uh, also an equal fifth, Goaty of the Deep Beyond. I feel like this is Josh. Possibly. Yeah, because the only way this makes it here is... No, but the problem is, is this this is a, this required a sign-off. There's definitely two or three people that have put this on their list. I so, it's not impressive enough to be here. No, it is really not. Yeah, it's, on the, it's on the top five games of the year list, and it's on the top five cards of the year list. I, I just made this reference, and neither of them will understand that it's the final boss in uh, Elden Ring. Yeah, no. Oh. Going to the Deep Beyond is literally the final boss in Elden Ring. I was going to uh, Majora's Mask. That's yeah, the name no. of the... Oh, is that just God? God. Look, let's just... Let's, we've spent enough time on God. Yeah. yeah. Moving on. Uh, also an equal fifth, we have uh, Flawanderese and the Advent of Adventure. That checks out. I'd, I'd put it on the top five list. Yeah. It definitely made a huge impact for that deck because, like, the meme was going around of, like, oh, this deck is such a threat. Like, oh, it's Floodgates. Oh, an Imperm Rexit. And, like, you're having to play garbage like Book of Moon and stuff yeah. like that to play around it. Whereas this, searched one as most critical cards, got the card off the board so that negates like that weren't as prevalent. And also boosted life points, which, as we all know, is becoming more and more of a thing <laughs> to win new games now. It becomes very problematic when all of a sudden you can, like, send it at it back with a toucan and then game 500. Yeah, before the, um, yeah, before your opponent's even got to play, you're up a thousand life points. Yeah, like, Map Robina is that game, game life game. Yeah. Um, something else that I really just considered, 
did we factor in that Master Duel could play a, a role in this? Because, like, that card, very good in Master Duel, in fact, mm. caused that deck to be hit twice on a ban list. Mm -hmm. Physical card game, dodged. Except for uh, the OCG who just decided to hit it. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that kind of is a way to look at it as well. That's maybe something, an avenue that we can open up next year is yeah. um, Best Five Cards Master Duel. We probably yeah. should have thought of it this year because it is the first year of Master Duel. Obviously, is. we weren't thinking We're nearly about. running up to a year of Master Duel. The yeah. best card of Master Duel this year was. If you uh, say Master Duel, I'll win, fucking kill you. It's very statue. That was the best card of Master Duel this year. Should be a rock. I, I don't think I'm wrong in saying that either. Yeah. <laughs> there might be doubts, but I'm not going to argue with them. That was so good in Master Duel, it got banned in Master Duel and real life. I mean, no, CG, anyway. Hopefully TCG, soon. Um, also, in the equal fifth, we have uh, Spellbound. No. Not yet. I've literally never seen that card be played. No. Like, and I think it's a really good card. It's yeah. really I think it's a really good card be played. I saw it and went, oh yeah, that's good. And I'm like, I'm not sure if it's that good. It's great in theory. It's not there yet, though. I, it needs to see more play. Pause. And we go again. Yeah, so I just don't think that Spellground... Oh, no, sorry. Spellbound. Spellgrounds aren't quite, that good. No. Okay, it's 2022. Even though they released new Spellground, bad. It's not quite there yet. They're all right. Don't use that opinion against Spellground. I've never, I've never been a huge fan of Spellground, to be honest. I know. I mean, just I like... Just a fan of rubber. I like mine so much, it's still in my uh, luggage from... Uh, Trip like, to Frisbane? Uh, no. no. I don't even think the world strip either. I think a triple oh. four. <laughs> I was like, oh, why is this here? I have a similar opinion with Spellgrounds as I do to like certain uh, clothing labels in that the the thing itself is fine, but the people that have them suck. People that run Spellgrounds are generally like, like they have this opinion of themselves. They carry themselves in a certain way that makes them like feel like they're important. And I just don't think that's the case most of the time. Lucky we're Big doing fan, Harry. <laughs> yeah, so lucky we're, lucky we're doing this in the store and not in Harry. Just jump over the table. I've, and... I've told him this before. Oh, okay. He's alive. He survived. Seemingly. Uh, also in equal fifth, and this one's deserved, if not maybe a bit higher. Yeah. Dark the Dark Charmer. Yeah. It's a good card. Yeah. Good card. I said since the start, if they ever brought out a dark one, it would see so much play. Where's the light charmer? They have one. There's just not a light archetype huh. that's relevant. Um, one of the, it turned up in one deck, right? Because they would use... Yeah, it turns up in everything at the moment. It's in Probably. literally every deck right now. Is it? Yep. No, no, no. Not the light one, the dark one. Dark one. Yeah. No, no, I'm talking He's the talking light about the light one. Ah. No, yeah, because um, I know one deck I had light, dark, and the uh, water. Scotch Tracker? <laughs> <Dark? laughs> I don't remember. Oh, well, let's not talk about Scotch Tracker yet. Hmm. Um, and finally, in equal fifth. Oh no, sorry, we have two more in equal fifth. Oh my, my mistake. Uh, Kashira Fenry. It's higher than fifth. If this is equal fifth, it's better than every card that we've named. You... Well, it's definitely better than the pack. Well, no, it's, no, Advent's better than Fenry. I would also argue that Dark's better than Fenry. At the Look, moment, I'm Fenry sure will be, be. There's gonna be cards in equal fourth that are worse than this. No. no, no, we're done with the equals. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. this is right. right. Yeah, because this oh, was very much more. This is top Fenry, but okay. yeah. Look, I'd put it in the top half of these cards. There are certainly cards that we've named so far that are not equal to Fenry this year. I agree with that. Yep. I was, I was gonna, I was tempted to do a runoff, and we vote on these ones again, <laughs> and then we, yeah. we cull some of the shit, but we just didn't have time. And then in also equal fifth, and the last one in equal fifth, branded fusion. Probably the best out of all these cards. Yeah. 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 That card elevated branded to a ridiculous extent. Like, obviously, it's summoning Mirror Jade, and Mirror Jade was problematic, but not like, not tier element problematic. It's just a good card, and it's just very yeah, solid. Yeah, it's just, it, it play cards. It just, you play the game, you do stuff. It's fun. It's not overly oppressive. It could be, it, I mean, it probably is overly oppressive compared to previous fusion mechanics, but. Yeah, the fact that the only restriction is that you have to send Fall on a Balbaz as part of its material effectively makes it, like, kind of busted. Like, Shadol Fusion, you had access to a lot more monsters. You could send a plethora of monsters from your main deck to make it, but the restriction was that your opponent had to yeah. have something in, in exchange. You have to be kind of behind at the moment. Yeah. 
So, yeah, like, yeah, it changed the way that deck played. It never saw the competitive levels that it did in the OCG. Yeah. Like, it was always topping, but it never won. Yeah. Here it was very... Like, everyone just sided cards that stopped it pretty hard. Like, people didn't fuck around. They were just like, I'm just going to side shit that beats this deck. It still picked up local wins despite that, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, locals, regionals, and stuff like that. But in terms of YCS reps, it was always in the top 32, but it never got past it. Yeah. It was very easy to count at the end of the day. Very easy yeah. to count. All right. Moving on to fourth place, finally. Uh, Bistial Magnemut. Yep. That's perfectly valid. Very solid. $30 super. Yeah. $30 like, super on a good day. Yeah. Like, it's hard to tell whether it's a $30 super because it was so short printed. And I don't care what they say, it was short printed. It was. It's still hard to get. Or whether it would have been a $30 super even if it was printed well. Something just because it's so solid. Point out on the on the fact that Jake feels that it's a, it's a short printed super. I do. It's not a short printed super. Yes, it's it just is. that there are 24 supers in a set where you only get 18 in a box. Like, short, like you are supposed to get three supers. Uh, no, sorry, you're supposed to get eight of each super in a case. So you're not guaranteed one in every box. You're guaranteed one or two in every three boxes. So, so this is a byproduct of the dropping the the, the super slot. Uh, yeah. yeah cause well, because when they got rid of rares, rares. Yeah, they yeah. increased the amount of supers, ultras, and secrets. Yeah. And then so there's fifty commons in a set, and then the rest of it makes up everything else, and that that works out pretty negatively in terms of trying to get supers nowadays. Because mm. all of a sudden we have a very good super, gone. Because you're not opening a box and being like, oh, I'll pull one of every super. That just doesn't happen. Also, and the card's just so good. <laughs> yeah, card, really good. Yeah, <coughs> like, just comes out, searches. In fact, that boy, wasn't a secret rare. Goes into Beatrice. Yeah. Absurd. Absolutely absurd. Yeah, like, even if it was an ultra, it would have been a deserved ultra. Yeah. I like more being supers, except for the big one. Yeah, there's an ultra. No one plays there, it. There's there an ultra. Terrible. Oh, well, I still think that card's effect should have been oh, yeah, the same yeah, no, effect, but no. banished three instead. I, li I like I that the three of them are super. It's Albalogus or something? Albalos. Okay, so uh, when they do the next uh, mini one, yep. will it be a super again, or are they going to stuff it up and just make me mad? They'll do a super again. Oh, no, they'll, they'll stuff it up and make me mad. They'll do a secret. So that's the thing. and that's Okay, if you're going to make that secret, you should have made this secret too. Yeah. Oh, but you got a little bit... I don't know. I don't know what I want. All I know is I want the card. I only own one. Sorry, I was reading what Avalos does. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know. I know now. Sorry. It's not terrible, but it's just not too slow. Yes, yeah, on the point. Um, in third place, we have Ultimate Slayer. I didn't pick this in my top three. I in did fact, I. none of the cards that I've picked in my top three so far have been named, I think. I can't remember. I don't remember what I submitted. <sighs> I can get it. Can... Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> But Ultimate Slayer, not as good as you think it is. A Magnum's a better card. Um, yes. Ultimate mm -hmm. Slayer is good. It's just not that good. And I've probably played it the most out of everyone here. Yeah. It could I've probably got to play set, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it deserves to be in top 10. I don't know if fourth is correct, but just correct. Yeah. a lot of people backed this card. It's third. Definitely not third. Yeah, no. The, it's great in theory. It's similar to um, Spellbound in that, like, it got a lot of hype when it was announced, yeah. but it just never saw that level of competitive play. Well, it did briefly in sprite format. Yeah. It was very good in sprite format. At WCQ, it did carry me fairly hard. So, like, in New Zealand, I feel like every time I used it, my opponent was like, fuck. And the fact that it's not once per turn also made opponents go, fuck. Because if you open both of them, I, I was playing two targets, so you'd go, like, bang. Bang, we're good. Done, sorted. Especially against Irrelevant. Yeah. Because you just uh, send the Entus, spin something, send the Link Monster, spin something. Done. Easy. Hmm. Well. Um, yeah. It's, I, I, yeah, it's a card that I like. I, it definitely is a great card. I like having it in the game. But yeah, I'm not sure it's places here yet. There's, there's probably going to be time where this card is like crazy good. That's the thing, oh, it's like, very format dependent. Yeah. The, I think the biggest like hindrance with it is that you have to cater your extra deck to it. It's not like a yeah. lightning storm, it's not like an evenly matched, you can't just sort of whack it in yeah. and just play it. Like you do need to cater to it. Like if you just whacked it in any random deck, sure you might have a target to send to remove something, but you're not getting the full u yeah. utilization out of it. Realistically you need to be playing a 13 card extra deck to get the most value. 
Yeah, and with current decks in the format, you just can't afford to do that. Yeah. Uh, in second place, we have Tier Element Kikalos. I think that was in my top three. I think Kikalos was my number two, actually. Maybe number one. I yeah, don't know. Definitely high up on mine. This, it, it, I it, thought it was anyway. this was very top heavy with the least that between the number first and second. It was yeah. very top heavy and Makes close. Yeah, Basic question why it's not the ulti in um, OTS, but anywho. Because <laughs> it's going. Not the one that's right. No, we'll get the ulti after it's banned. <laughs> <laughs> no, then printed as ulti, then they can't ban it. That's the problem. Yeah. Haven't they done They're it probably good. Yeah, Brilliant Fusion. But that was well after. Maxi is well after. Yeah. There's been cards where they've printed them as ulties and then, like, intentionally banned other shit. And it was very uh, obvious that they were just not banning the ulti. I saw the curse of the tins. Yeah, no. Reprint. Go on. <laughs> Maybe that's why they didn't print Sword Soul in the tins. They're like, we're not going to hit it, we promise. <laughs> yeah. Didn't need to be hit by that point either. Like, lived and died by um, well, Nemesis, dude. Did I know, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, once they banned Nemesis, it was like, oh, okay, it's, it's just became, a synchro deck now, it's fine. It became fair. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And then, in number one, we have, drumroll, Sprite Elf. This was indeed my number one pick. Yeah. yeah. It's a very solid card. Goes in so many decks. It's so free. It is just everything you want. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah it's surprising just how many decks are running level twos and can utilize it, or like rank twos even. It's just very solid. It's just dawned on me that I could play this in Dragon Maid to reborn a nurse and then nurse into something else <gasps> and then go link four into an access code and then go boop 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 uh, you need good. to change your deck list now then nah <laughs> I have different things I've changed in my deck list oh spicy yeah so and I agree the yeah. lower half of this <laughs> yeah. is a bit problematic uh, but yeah towards the top it's getting much more solid uh, did I have anything uh, before we do move on there I should have um, brought up is there any notable mentions okay so yeah so people who didn't understand the task at hand all voted for <laughs> DPE Mystic Mime Fairytale Stone Brandy Red Chaos Rulers Synchro D Shifter Thunder Map in brackets Cringe Guard and Access Code Talker were all cards Access people, Code? yeah I don't the, that's the thing even whoever put Access Code in it's like, I'm like, hold on. What's that? Remember. Is that in Eternity Code? Oh, Only you vote stuff from this year. Yeah. But... Unless it's made a huge impact, and which in which case, Access Code has done the same thing that it did at the start, as it's doing now, which is just an OTK card. Yeah. It's just borrow load... Uh, yeah, borrow sword that you can't respond to. It's just occurred to me that in the top three decks of the year, I was the one that did this and chose a deck that came out last year. Yeah. Oh, no, decks are, decks are okay. Like, because okay. if a deck performed well... That's okay, Ben. Yeah. We're about to get onto decks, and you'll realise that your mistake is nearly as bad as what someone else did. Uh, okay. We're about to find out. Oh, uh, Primeval Planet would ha only had like one or two votes. It's because Chaos is the. the yeah, the so thing. everyone went kit. Uh, so there's like. But I think I may have even voted for um, Triple P as one of mine over Kit Carlos purely because, like, obviously Kit Carlos is like the crux of the place, but um, Planet is like. A level of off turn interaction outside of like just doing fusions and shit. Yeah. Uh, the Shuzu cards all kind of picked up. I was ready to group them together, but they didn't crack it. Uh, that's probably a notable shout out. And also, in February, if you told us no adventure cards, yeah, it would have been surprising. Yeah, that's obviously honestly after, but <laughs> the TCG has this habit in the last sort of 12 months <laughs> of just like they see an OCG threat and they're just like, nah. Nah. Let's <laughs> do something else. What if we just counter it? It's okay. But, like, that deck did very well, mixed in with other things. And yeah. it just made you kind of forget that it was the thing that was good. It killed off, um... What's it fucking called? Prank Kids. Yeah, yeah. It was the it. reason that Prank Kid yeah. ended up dying. Yeah, that was just a very competitive deck this year. That's gone. Mm. And the thing... The engine hasn't been hit in any way, has it? Nope. It hasn't, right? Ah, uh, Is that been... One? No. No, that been... Uh, right. Right? Of this year? Or anything went to two at some I don't point? think... No. Uh, th this is the thing that I'm confusing what's happened in Master Duel with what's yeah. happened in real life. I don't think Because they both got right in Master Duel. Yeah. We didn't even get him at four. We didn't even get him at three. Right? No, they hit, they they hit Enchantress two. at two before it was even released. Yeah. But yeah, so like, yeah, they, they did pick up a couple of rogues. Um, also, Illusion of Chaos, Lodza. We recognise <laughs> what you're going for. Yeah, look. It is a good card, but... 
Look, it's definitely in the top five cards for DM this year. <laughs> I honestly considered that card in my top three. I was like, oh, yeah, that was good. But there's better things. Yeah. We move. So, moving on to our top five decks of the year. Starting at number five, we have Fluundery. Yep. Yeah. Not the deck that I voted for that was came out last year. But, yep. It's just got a lot of staying power. It's like, it's just always the counter to whatever's winning. Because... The, any format in the last sort of three to four years has been very special summon heavy so having a, a deck that lives in the format that counters that has always been sort of the tradition like you've got true draco for Zodi zodiac even though zodiac's like mm, i like the look of that i'll take it um you'd had like monarchs in um other formats and stuff like that so there's just always a tribute floodgatey deck sitting around eldritch to an extent as well but yeah. that also liked a special summon um and also they're cute they're, 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 they're cute design cards. I've always appreciated it. Where I go, oh, if I'm, I'm getting beaten up, at least I'm getting beaten up by a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> we need, we've got to get a thumbs up on it, I reckon. A little thumbs up. But penguins don't have thumbs. That's what I'm saying. Well, we give penguins thumbs. Maybe that's a step too far. Maybe that makes them dangerous. All they need is opposable All thumbs. All they need is opposable thumbs. Penguins become unstoppable. <laughs> this is true. Uh... At number four, we have Branded Despia. A deck that I just kind of completely ignored this year. I was like... Eh. Again, it was just that weird thing of, like, the OCG had it. It was, like, just winning everything, and then it came here. And while it was topping really solid, like, consistently, it just never got to win any yeah. events. And then pranks, it just got pranks. One more events than this in the beginning of the year, I right? So. Yes. And that's why they got hit. <laughs> yeah, so that's the, that's the thing. Like, I... Th yeah. What this brand cards have been hit? Nothing? Nothing. We just move past it. None at all. Fuck. What an intense year. Yeah. I guess that is just the timing of like the, the, the decks weren't around long enough for it just power creep went faster for us. Yeah, that, I suppose, yeah, the changing of product timing as well could probably account for some of it. Yeah. Something I've just realised is, so that OCG ban list that we've just had was a, a fucking slaughter. Uh -huh. And it was a fucking slaughter to like not only the best deck, but like the two decks behind it. Yeah. We haven't checked decks four, five, and six this year. So, like, if we get that ban list, they have to go so much harder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we will just... If they want to do a... Brand, yeah. gone. Adventure, gone. You guys are both got to go as well. Yeah. And as, as I said for the OCG one, I don't see what decks are on the horizon either. Like, there's nothing that shouts out to me like... Oh, these decks have now been hit, so yeah. this is naturally the next contender. So it's just going to be one of those weird formats where, like, anything could win because everything's at the same power level. Yeah. Adventure also got uh, Synchro Toolbox banned. Yes. Yeah. Something to consider. They banned everything except Adventure. Because they still need to sell Adventure, but it's not going to get reprinted for a while. Mm. Hopefully they reprint something that doesn't taco. Would be nice. OTS Alties. Um, but yeah, going back to Branded Despia, um, super solid deck. Um, like, if you got in early on the Despia stuff, it wasn't super expensive either. Oh, that's why Luba was pretty up there for a bit, wasn't Before it? they announced the Ultra Reprint, which they kind of need to do because they fucked up the text in the EU, it was a very expensive card, like going for like 100 bucks each. But again, if you'd bought it before the Structure deck was announced, it was what? I think we got the cause for like 100 and a bit. We paid nothing. Yeah. We paid absolutely nothing. Um, and, and even then, like, outside of the Despia stuff, you could just go out and buy the branded structure, and that had a fair amount of stuff. It had some decent reprints as well, like Ogre Scythe, Effect Valor, Pot of Extra Ave. So, yeah, I think it was a solid product, but I suppose that'll come up later. Um, yeah, moving on to number three, and I do not agree with this in any way, shape, or form. And what wants yes? I don't care. Sky Striker. <laughs> This... Ugh. I was in 6th place. Uh, sword Song. Yeah, I'm reversing this. That was my uh, um, Sword Song I voted for. As my number 3. This this I kind of left in because <laughs> I, I didn't... Did you want to make me angry? No. It it before... I gave one of YCS and it was kind of the forefront of that Mystic Mind bullshit which was a thing this year, made everyone mad. It probably wasn't the, it wasn't the best, but... It just highlighted Mystic Mind so much more. Yeah, that's the thing. This isn't Sky so Striker. This is Mystic Mind. Yeah. Okay, so Mystic Mind with women uh, is in third. 
Um, that's all I'm going to speak about it. Uh, <laughs> second place is Sprite. Yep. Still didn't deserve to get hit. I appreciate that it did, though. Yeah, Thanks to other Konami. <laughs> it's just so dumb. <laughs> yeah, it, it, was really weird. it was very bizarre. You could tell that there was obviously a bias towards Tier Element being yeah. the next best Because they still had thing. more Tier Element support to come, and they were like, we haven't printed a Sheezy's yet, let's just check Sky Striker. Like, like, hey, take this. Sprint. <laughs> And even then, Tyrell Element's yeah. like, I like Sprint. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, can, I have a two I can send. Dust is good. The dust is good for Tyr. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it sort of goes without saying, in number one, we have Tyr Element. Yeah. So, remember when, like, back in August, we were like, hey, Sprite's going to be the... Tyr zero day is and, uh-huh. and it's gone. Tyr. Tyr just didn't care. It came in. Like, I think were people just like, oh, who cares? I'm going to be playing this in three months. I might as well start playing it now. Yeah. And everyone's like, unga bunga dangerous. <laughs> yeah. The TCG has a habit of going for like the subpar stuff sometimes yeah. and just being like, I'm going to break this. And I, it had the tools there. It was non-restrictive, um, like resources were always available because it's mechanics shuffled them back into your yeah. deck. Um, and yeah, I think the TCG likes a good mill deck too. Yeah. I had a test hand yesterday that I got down to nine cards in deck <laughs> on first turn, and I'm not worried at all. <laughs> yeah. How good is it? Like, we're just like, oh, well, I will, all the results are where I need them to be, and I'm not going to be losing anytime soon. Yay. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. But yeah, theoretically, we don't have too much longer before this deck gets addressed. Unless they decide to do a Sky Strike and just be like, forever! Oh, God. <laughs> so how many lists did they survive in OCG? Three or Three. two? Three. Three. So... They got checked on the second pretty hard and yeah. then finished on the third. Yeah. Or actually, yeah, they checked on the first, hit more on the second, killed on the third. You say kill. <laughs> um, it's still winning things. Because well, they just mix it in with Shadol. It's not fully banned yet. Oh, I don't want that. Like, it's not technically banned. It's more just like... Oh, gen- yeah, true, true, gen- true, 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 true. At the moment. Yep, 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 yep. And then, not too long ago, too, somewhere in the OCG, they had, like, a no ban list tournament, and yeah. Tier still won that. <laughs> Which I was shocked by. Like, the cards, the, when we read the cards out, we were all, oh, yeah, these are good, but nothing jumped out. Oh, this is yeah. so broken. It doesn't have, like, a hand rip. It doesn't have an extra deck lock. It doesn't have, like, a skip turn function. All Your it does... It's a skip turn function, but you don't. Yeah, it's... No one's even playing the skip turn function. No. It's, it's so weird. It's so weird. Um, and then, finally, for top five products of the year. Oh, is there any other show? Oh, oh sorry. yeah. Uh, it was Sword Soul. Yeah, Sword Soul. Yeah, yeah. So Soul um, if I finish second in a regional with a deck and I have barely learned it, it's a free the deck. And Exosister only picked up one single vote and it wasn't from me. Oh, interesting. It's, it, Martha elevated that deck ridiculously and Magnifica to an extent as well because they were released oh my no Magnifica was in the first bit run no Magnifica no. was in the, the second bit of support yeah. okay uh, yeah so Martha and Magnifica kind yeah. of it would like elevated that deck a lot and then just the um, plethora of floodgates that they can yeah. play when they're versing tier yeah, yeah. still I mean actually they won a YCS too mm-hmm. they did with Dimensional Ship Top three cards of the year, Dimensional Shifter. Yeah, okay, and that's I was tempted. I was tempted. Uh, DM is obviously <laughs> someone. Uh, yeah, that's that, that's that we well, yeah. but that's Loz and co-signed by someone for it even to get there. Um, and then somehow I think Josh might have submitted to it twice because there's two lots of salad votes. Sure, it could be Hayden as well. Oh, Although he does so, prefer. But at the same time, look, even even from your biased salad brain, Josh. <laughs> This wasn't the year. He's not even playing Salad at the moment. He's oh, playing he's fucking playing. Oh, He was going to play Salad today, but I never gave him the Salad cards. <laughs> he was going to play Salad for the 1k. What happened? Don't betray, <laughs> your, <laughs> don't betray your original deck. It'll come back to haunt you. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's all the shout-outs I have for that. So, top five products of this year. At number five, we have the Grand Creators. Yep. I voted Grand Creators in my top three. I can't... Other than Adventure, what... Was that Exorcista? Yep. Exorcista and Punk. Ah, Punk, yeah. All three that was another ended deck. up being good. Yeah, and Punk's one of those decks where, like, they took away 
parts of it because there were going to be problems later on. I don't think it deserved to be hit as badly as it was. Um, it was like it was three. good. It won a YCS. Did it? Yeah. Adventure Punk won a YCS. I think it could be right. <laughs> could be. We'll <laughs> never know. Could be. <laughs> we couldn't possibly research this. Um, Oh god, I've lost my place. Was there a re- Grand Crate is even getting in on a reprint. There's a specific reprint. Oh, the e E-tel- Just sliding the e in there just to keep them in. Yeah, all the e Why? Okay. Have it. Uh, I very much appreciate it. Where it's like, cool. It's, it's easy to find e basically, is what I'm saying. Because, my god, I'd just run out of those. Yeah, I'm swimming yeah. in rare e at this point. Which I'm all for, because Look I'm going to lose them eventually, too. <laughs> and they're rare, at least, so they won't talk about I love, I love me a non-taco card. In number four, we have 2022 Megatins. The product over there. Yeah, it's it sold really well. Uh, <laughs> it did have really solid reprints. I think the price point and inflation kind of hit some people this year. Uh-huh. <laughs> that yeah. one. This number one. four is that one. Imagine if I pulled out the last year's Megatins and it was just sitting back here in the storeroom. <laughs> the Crystal Beast card in that, really good. That's the only card I remember. Uh, you had Prosperity reprints, which ended up being the same price as the yeah. Secrets, which has happened with a lot of the solid reprints that have happened recently, if they get reprinted in a similar rarity. Yeah, true. Why didn't they ultra the jerks? Well, We sorry. know why. I shouldn't have phrased that. Damn them for <laughs> damn them for not making it ultra. <laughs> they didn't do the same problem thing they did last year of like making everything good ultras and then like printing a fuckload of ultras. Because mm. oh, it was bad. Yeah, that was Last year was really bad. I wish they would return to the promos so that at least... Like, they don't have to be, like, Nibiru level broken. I'm, I'm not asking for that. But it would be nice if you were guaranteed some okay cards. Yeah, yeah. especially our old reprints that are probably needed that you just whack in there. Oh, there's your super reprint. Now shut up. Like, that's, like, the back to the Hanzo Tins fucking nearly 10 years ago now. Shit, it is 10 years ago. Even like, before that, like, the super ghost ogres as well <laughs> that you just got. Yeah, it's like, we messed up, we short printed this card that everyone needs quickly, we put these in the tins, and now you're going to buy 50 doll tins to make up for it. <laughs> it's just, it, it make, it's just free money. Like, there's no way that that is $65 worth of materials. Yeah, so it's, it's like, I guess it's, what is, what is that anyway? Like, aluminum? Yeah, it'd be aluminum. Aluminum. Um, it's a point. <laughs> That's where the word came from. specify what the materials are. Just says manufactured by Konami. Well, it's made the... out of the tears of children. Yeah. It was produced in the UK. These are normally produced in Belgium. Maybe the tin itself is produced in Maybe. the UK. Maybe. I'm, I'm sure, sure these symbols tell me what they are. But... It's just recycled Bicky tins. <laughs> That's it. It's all shortbread. <laughs> I'd I'd buy sixty five dollars worth of shortbread. I'm also intrigued <laughs> that the uh, the oh, lid God. is on the opposite direction to the back. Oh so, god, I hate that. Oh, I hate that's that killing so me. Yeah. bad. Mm. Wait, is it? It is. Wait, let me. Yeah, okay. The pyramid. Uh, no, that's, that's not a pyramid. What is it? When it's upside down. A spinning top. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Dorito. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ancient Dorito. <laughs> In number three, we have the branded structure. Again. Super solid, yep. like gave you access to some really broken cards out the gate um, and some pretty solid reprints. Not the best reprints that we've had in the structure deck this year, no. um, but yeah. good enough. If you had just thought ahead a little, you had a top in the box. Yeah. You had to still be competent, but it was a top in the box. Yeah, and like you didn't even have to be that competent. Like the deck had a very linear play. Yeah, it was pretty pretty plain. And if you're getting close to time, you just summoned the, yeah, the summon Bernie Dragon. Yeah. Win. I respected the last like, like milking of extravagance in this as well, where it's just like, oh, here's common extravagance. Now you're never gonna think of a card again, you <laughs> jerks. <laughs> like, it's like, oh no, I miss it. Why can't I get? When will he get common pros? Is it in the trap trick strike set? I hope they keep it. Is it not? I don't know. I feel like it's in something coming up. But haven't we also talked about the fact that we're not likely to get it in a trap? <laughs> Yes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's that's in the March product. God gotcha. yeah. Because Maxi's also in there, and we're definitely not getting that. Yeah, we're not getting any of, any of the stuff. Please, Maxi. It's never gonna happen it's, for it's us. It's not. 
I just, again. But I just like not having to think of three deck slots. That's all I'm literally thinking. I'm looking. <laughs> Triple cards. tactics. Also, tactics goes in everything. Sorry, I want to do thirty-four cards. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Look at the brain go. No, two triple tactic. Two. Cross like death. Cross out designator. So they get yeah. hand traps your opponent playing. I thought we were about to be interrupted, but we're not. No. Uh, this jingle. <laughs> in slot number two, we have Magnificent Mavens. Despite being delayed, was a very solid product. Delayed a lot. But yeah, like, good set. Could have yeah. had an extra pack. Yeah, the again, it had a similar issue to the tins in that the price point was difficult, so but at the same expensive. time, everybody that was playing Tier Element or anything that involved the Ishizu Fairies needed it. Like, and the openings in America and the UK had us panicked somewhat as to the availability of it. And, like, the... In the UK, look, for us, like, UK region, Europe, it was still short-printed, but in North America it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we were somewhat panicked as to which ones we have and, like, which ones would be short-printed. The prices were erratic for a while on those. Yeah, the, also the problem of, like, the, the physical product here is so expensive in Australia. Just for this set specifically that I was like, I would really just want to open one of these just to see what sleeves I get. But I just can't justify spending fucking, it was like $75. Depending on what you want, but yeah. Yeah. Like, some, some places were charging 85 so, like, it was bad in this country for Magnificent Mavens. It was yeah. really bad. The sleeves were a cute addition, though. They could have done a bit more with it, though. Yeah, it could have been a little bit better. Wifey, 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 wifey. Which one do you want? I don't know, I just want something that's not like this. <laughs> I would have appreciated if they had the Shizu sleeves. Yeah. Because the artwork yeah. for Gravekeeper's Trap is very nice, yeah. and I feel like it's wasted just having it on a card, and that's it. Um... The, do they have a sword 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 sleeves that I haven't pulled? No, there's no, no sword So a sword sword sleeve would have been cute too? My Kashi, Sky Striker, and Witchcrafter. Witchcrafter. Yeah. That's it. Um, the Pharaoh Rares are a nice addition as well. It's the first time that we've had them. Wouldn't know. I just saw my first Pharaoh Rare not 20 minutes ago. It's gross. Ultra Rares, gross. Secret yeah, the rares, difference in decent. printing was also an issue. That yeah. like the Americans got Secret and we got Ultra. Would have much rather the secret ones be the worldwide release. Yeah. But the same thing happened with the Egyptian gods when they printed those as pharaoh rares last year. Yeah. North America got secret rares and we got ultra rares. These inconsistencies with printing really need to be sorted out. It's the Texans. They're like, we're better than everyone else. Make those secret rares. <laughs> exact quote. <laughs> I almost suspect he's here in the room. Oil rigged Texan with his yeah. big hat. <laughs> Doug Dimmadome. <laughs> Walked in and was like... <laughs> We're printing secret rares. Europeans get ultras? Fuck that. <laughs> and in number one, and not particularly surprising, Power of the Elements. Yeah, that's obvious. I bought a case of the set. It's If I ever buy a case of something, it's going to be good. And it was good. It was very good. Very, but did you, very good. Yeah, you got a Starlight um, Ultimate Slate, didn't you? Ultimate Slate, correct. Yeah. We ended up buying two cases in the end. So we split a case. Yeah, that's right. I we bought a case to myself. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The case we split was all right. It was okay. The case I got was like best case scenario. So literally, um, on called full sprite core. Even outside of even outside of the yeah, tier and sprite, you had the Guru in there as well. Like one of the better Guru, one of which, the better TCG exclusives, which kind of lifted while. tier element as well. I think yeah. that was one of the reasons where people were like, oh shit, this could actually do really well. You could all of a sudden Guru into a fucking sprite elf, draw the card, and then just bring back the Merly. It also gave you a super poly target against the better deck as well. Like, yeah. that was one of the reasons why a lot of players stopped summoning the dupe frog off of their toad yeah. in Sprite, because it just... Rude. Yeah. Did Punk run the the Punk uh, the punk Synchro from this? I never played against it. The Synchro, no. The uh, Field the Spell, yes. yes. Yeah, so, like, that, it added to that. So, there's just, yeah, there was just so much going on in this set. That... Such a good set. Is that where the, um, the Fond cards came out? Yes. The first of the, like, weird Earth archetype? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Verifauna or whatever. Freaking, oh, stuff. no, not Verisilf. Oh. Um, the, like, um, Telephone and stuff like that. The the Fon support. Yes. Is that where they came? I think the comments were in there. So, yeah, then FTK came out of that, briefly. <laughs> they got banned only for them to then release 
reprint the old the synchro in an OTS after it's been made. Yeah, that was weird. You guys really want to play telephones, eh? Here's the synchro. I mean, you can still do a link spam deck, like. Nah. Nah. You can still do a lot. It did have end wave though. Mm. Yeah, the hero support was kind of trash. Um, it did also give us one of our uh, top five cards of the year, Goatee of the Deep Beyond, so there's that. <laughs> I want to find out who voted for that, they should be shot. Well, I, I mean, I could dig up names. Oh, and the, Mo and the Moki Moki Sport as well, which... Oh, yes, Moki Moki, 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 Moki Moki Sport, we are always about that. An effect monster that's considered a normal monster. I like it. But all up, hasn't been the worst year of you, Yu-Gi-Oh, I think. Yeah, it depends on who you ask. Uh, <laughs> it hasn't been a bad year. It's been a year where everything was very clear. Uh -huh. And you could always play either play the best deck or play something that counters it. At no point has it been kind of set up where it's like, play this or you lose. And that's, that's always good. Yeah, it's it's a weird time at the moment. It's one of the better metas that I've ever played in. Granted, I am playing them, what's considered the meta deck for once in like the last five years. But... It's also, like, people are not happy about it, despite it being, like, you're not getting floodgated, you're not getting hand-ripped, you're not, like... It's not painful to play. It's not a, oh, I've lost the die roll, therefore I lose. Yeah, true. Like, especially now that we all have fucking bestials. Yeah, that's the like... thing. Bestials are, like, the biggest counter, and, like, we haven't got a counter to a meta deck in time for it to be relevant for a long time. What if that's the best reason why they were all supers is because they were such a hard counter to the format that it's like... Potentially. I mean, if that's the argument, make them commons. Yeah, true. <laughs> but then again, like, them being super, like, I mean, whether or not they're short printed, it's, it, it, it is way easier on the market of, oh, that loose pack might have a best deal in it. Yeah. I'll take the punt. What's $5? And then you do that. Six days in a row. I suppose it's not like needing a hand trap and like you have to hit the secret or you don't get it. Yeah, whereas like where uh because there's so many times where it's like, oh I'm better off buying singles, but this is the one time where the gambler's fallacy comes in and there's a one in twenty four chance that you get So there's a one in this there's, there's a better chance of you pulling a secret red than there is of you pulling from, a bestial from, from a loose bag. <laughs> from yeah. a loose bag. Well hold on, because no, if you go there's by a, three so one. three in a twenty four, so it's a one in eight chance for the super. And then whatever. Yeah, there's a one in eight chance of you getting a secret. From a pack? Yeah. Wait, no, that's wrong. Yeah. It's one in 12 on a secret. Yeah. My math is off. Yeah, I'm like, hold on, hold on. Wait, there are 12 secrets? Or? There's eight, there's 10 secrets, 12, every 12 packs you get a secret. Yeah. If you're pulling Magnum, lower chances of them pulling a secret. Yeah, there. yes. Magnum or Druus one, the two that are good. Yeah, the Saren is... Saren is literally just a name, and, like, once we get the next set, it gets immediately replaced. Yeah. No, nah, I just put the other one in as well. <laughs> Play all of them. Other one that was in Dragon League. <laughs> oh, Good for times. God's sake. Anyway, uh, that does conclude us. Oh, wait, do we have any um, mentions for product? No, oh, this was a very top-heavy, like, um, yeah. Power of the Element, like... There's probably one on every single person's list. Yes. Yeah. It, it was, like, one of the highest votes we've had on a product... Of a while, but oh, we've had we've had a couple busted packs. Um, there's a Dharma throw out there. Someone put Darkly Blast. Um, so one single vote for the structure deck, for Crystal Beast. Is that you? I don't think so. There's, there's one, like, there's case. In it. It's the reason. There's also like twenty of them. No, that's 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 forty. There's forty single behind me. It feels wasted. That's that's gonna be so much money in ten years. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the... definitely. The wasted Just the Ash. opportunity with that, like Ash is good in there, but the issue they had is that they then printed the Battles of Legend, which had a heap of the Crystal Beast stuff in it anyway. So and like some of the stuff in there really didn't need to be in there. No, and, and the stuff was, that and, should have been in there wasn't. And yeah, like they could have put the the trap balls <coughs> in the tin. They could have probably put it into there instead, just to make that more focused. Yeah, there's a there's a lot more they could have done, should have done, would have done, but of course they didn't. Like of any deck that you could have put into a product, and people wouldn't have had a whinge. I think that was it. Why is Deer Shifter in that? <laughs> I know why. Oh, no, no, no. I, I forgot that's in there. Like, yeah, Deer Shifter lying around in that too is kind of cute. Yeah, pretty good. But, yeah, that's... that's. Otherwise, it was so top-heavy for, um, yeah, Pody. And Pody. 
Yeah, speaking of Hody, that's what we're out to go do. Yeah. Uh, so thank you all very much for watching. As I said, feel free to jump into our Discord and... Quick, quick thing. Uh, this week's podcast was filmed... Well, this podcast was filmed before the podcast that will go up this week. So they're reverse ordered. Where ap apologies if we spoil this video in the other podcast by accident. Yes, yeah, Oz. We'll try not to. Also, yeah, this was recorded before our 1K Player of the Year, so... So if one of us looks particularly happy and the other one looks upset, you know why. Yeah, switched. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, feel free to jump into our Discord, let us know your opinions on the picks, um, anything that you would have uh, added or removed. Uh, otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Bye.